Good morning, folks. Happy Friday. What you're seeing here is a failure. There you can see the outline of the uh, stand that they provided to uh, keep this boat cover elevated so that it would drain properly. Well, as you if, if you saw my last video, you saw that it had failed, and so I used duct tape and I taped all the plastic joints together on that stand in hopes that it would uh, work and as you can see it didn't so I don't know if classic accessories will ever see this video or not probably not but uh, my suggestion would be to uh, yeah don't include that stand it's junk and all you do is uh, taint your reputation. Now overall the boat cover is nice. It fit really well. It's snug and it's difficult. It, I, my, my opinion, I think it would travel down the highway, but I, uh, I'm going to use an idea that uh, I, uh, somebody else used on a previous boat that I had. They uh, used a sawhorse, and I, I think I've got enough room. Yeah, I should have enough room on the, on the uh, lower deck there to set it up and then maybe use the landscape timber for to uh, elevate and put all that together. But I'm kind of thinking out loud. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos, I kind of build things on the fly, so we'll see what happens. I'm fixing to go to... Uh, a lumber yard and I'm going to get one of those uh, wooden sawhorses so I'll bring you back when I get this thing started. All right I'm back I'm trying to slowly work that stuff out looks like it's seeped a little bit or might be moisture who knows but it might have been seeping through anyway I'm fixing to crawl up in there and see if I can't roll that water out of there somehow. Anyway, here we go. Okay, this thing ain't perfect. It ain't pretty, but it's functional so that that wood does not dig into the floorboard. So we got that all stapled up. And I'm fixing to, uh, well, what I do with it. There, so, well, it's, I have a piece of round stock right there that I'm going to use. And I'm going to attach it to the sawhorse. And, uh, then, uh, yeah, lost my train of thought. Drill a hole down through the top of it, and I'm gonna re—I'm gonna attach this piece to it so that it doesn't uh, doesn't mess up the boat cover. And I'm gonna kind of a race against time because it looks like we've got more rain coming. I've got the uh, boat cover pulled off of it, and uh, from what I can tell, the sawhorse will fit down in the main floor down in that area there yeah let me let me point right there, right there and so yeah and give the boat a little TP to drain off of instead of uh, turning it into a bathtub all right back to work okay guys I've got this uh piece of round stock attached to the center of my saw horse. What I'm going to do now is find a drill bit to match up with that and what I'm going to do is attach that to the center and uh, this thing will be ready to use and I can bring pull the boat cover back up and secure it. So here we go.
Well, that's the only thing really worth salvaging out of that whole thing, and I almost wasn't able to do so because even it was broke. But having that piece of uh, sycamore inside there, that should do it. Just got to clean it all up real good and uh, put it out there in the boat and pull the tarp back over it. I don't know, it might be overkill, but I won't have to worry about it uh, uh, getting uh, blown over. Especially when I put the, the time into the floorboards and stuff on this boat. I don't, I don't want to get it ruined. I did get to, that got wet, but I'm not too concerned about it as, uh, as you saw in the previous videos on this boat I've got the uh, fiberglass resin on it and uh, this weekend I'll start with the live well cover there and get it replaced I'm just hoping I hope yeah it might work or it may be one of those deals I'll just recover it and it'll just sit on top of it We'll see. Sorry about my camera angle. I get uh, sidetracked. Let's see how that... No, that should work. The way that one's opening, that should open the same way. Of course, I don't have this perfectly straight, but looking forward to getting out and getting some fishing done in this. All right, I'm going to get back at it. All right, here it is, finished product. It looks like we're gonna drain really well. Not like it was. Don't want a bathtub. Just wanna keep that water out of that boat. And the height is good. So yeah. And uh, I don't know how that thing will travel with the uh, spade, with the uh, stand in it, but. Yeah, we'll find out. Take it on a local drive. We're getting there. Like I said, this weekend I'll start recovering the uh, the um, live wells and the uh, storage lids. All right, that's going to bring a, a close to uh, what we'll call uh, episode six, the uh, boat cover emergency. Anyway, y'all have a great uh, great weekend, and I will catch you on the next video.